Good evening. Welcome to What's New. Tonight we have two lovely ladies with us, and ours is going to introduce them, and they're going to talk to us. Okay. I think about Judith. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight we're going to find out all the information about Judith. It would be nice to have it back in town this evening. Mm -hmm. So if you guys want to introduce yourself as you talk, or both of you, right away, and then let's do it right away. Okay. Knock it out. I'm Brenda Hayden. And I'm the craft chairman. I'm Carrie Knoll, and I'm one of the board members. Okay. Well, you want to tell us all about? Well, at the present time, we have 105 vendors, craft vendors. Oh, great. great. Which is yeah. more than I anticipated because with everything going on. But yeah, I was going to say that's quite. So, yeah. Yeah. so we're we're pleased with that. We have a lot of a lot of them are excited about coming to get get finally set up after a whole year because right. a lot of all the shows almost all around canceled out everything last year so, so are, and one question before you start are they going to be down in the jerry fat grounds oh yeah there's like 40 some down in the down in there oh and, and then there. they're on the streets too yeah and then we have night so including local and out of town we have 19 food vendors that's including like the little beer gardens and oh, stuff so 19 food oh, so you have wide variety of food and well, then we also have our musical music like we normally do the lions club has theirs the jc's jc's and then uh, Mag Rosa, you know, Mag magnolias magnolias gonna have the uh barbershop quartet yeah. oh that'll be neat yeah and then uh, i think just, there was a preview on facebook wasn't there yeah that yeah. they did yeah yeah mm -hmm. and then there's like uh so we have in most Austin like josh driscoll uh uh get wayne gibbons and then we have awesome. vernon fleeg on sunday so we're doing some local people. Yeah. Well, that's great. Yeah. And then the transportation this year. Oh, exactly. We're one. instead of the husky buses, we're going with the trolley. Yeah. They have uh, said they would like to do it. They were in the ballpark, and with them being local, we went with the trolley. So hop on and take a ride if you've never yeah. been on it. All right. So, and there'll be the pickups so will be the same as usual out at Eric Scott. Drop offs will be at the bridge down at Moses Austin and then at the US Bank right up here. Yep. And we're still doing our 5K and one mile fun, fun run. That's on Saturday morning. So if you girls want to lace up your sneakers and go for a run or fun walk, come on. I no, still will, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could. Right? And then at opening ceremony, we'll have the St. Genevieve German Band and then the, the militia. The militia, the militia will, be will be there. Doing oh, their demonstration. And, and that's going to be at the Welcome Center? Again. At 10 a.m., yes. Yeah. No honored families this year. They decided not to do it, which is fine, um, but maybe we can get that back next year. That's what they're planning anyway. Yeah. And okay. don't ask me who the families are. We have no clue. <laughs> it was what they were going to have in 2020, but it's carried over, so I, I've totally lost track. So. so we also have the duck races, so um, the Rotary's putting that on, so go buy a quack pack as they call it. Mm -hmm. um, so that's something that's going on and kids like running around looking at that. The car show at the KC Hall. Not a show. On cruise. Sunday. A oh, cruise. Yeah, it's a car it's cruise from 10 to 2. Or I'll be yeah. in trouble. Um, but they'll be there at the KC Hall on Sunday. Then the Lost Acre tractors are going to be down behind Mr. Hoffman's house. Oh, okay. Yeah. And they'll really? be there Saturday and, and Sunday. And Sunday well. showing up their yeah. antique well, tractors. We really appreciate yeah. him. Uh, but Sounds like good music. weather, too. Yes, yes. so yes. we're excited about that. And something for the kiddos, the St. Jen Library is going to come out and have a booth. So they're going to do activities with the kids and have a little bit of story time. So I think that's a neat um, adjustment to yeah, add is. to it. So Unfortunately, we cannot have the bouncy house. Have what? The we're bouncy not going to have the bouncy house houses this year. Kind of the, we're just going to maybe move that to next year, table that. In that gray area, and we decided right. that we would have it. Yep. So... They'll still be doing the historical home tours, though, mm -hmm. if you want to do historical home tours. And then the museum is going to, the learning museum with the little dinosaurs are going to be open all weekend from 10 to 4. So that's something new that we didn't have last year to FET. 10 so to 4 both? Both days, Saturday, Sunday. And there's a lot of people from St. Louis like yeah. to come see that, yeah. Yeah. But all our local shops will be up. A lot of them are running specials. A lot of them are bringing stuff out of their shops in case you don't want to go in the shop. So that'll be neat. We encourage that because it makes it look like it's part of the craft show. Right. And, and, and 
Yeah, they're all in agreement with it. They they work with this real well. So that's good. Yeah. The, and the, I guess the Knights of Columbus will have their dinner. Yeah, they'll have their chicken. Jean dinner, dinner ten to Sunday. ten to two. Yep, ten to two on Sunday. So okay. and the craft hours are are the same. We yeah. had. Um, Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and then Sundays from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. So. But you know there'll be the shish kebabs, the pork burgers, you know those are all coming back. Kona's ice is coming back, Sarah's ice cream. Oh, and the little tractor guy. Do you guys know that? Moe's Austin, the little guy that oh. makes the, the tr homemade tractor, the homemade ice cream. Right. He's coming back. Our chainsaw guy's coming back. Our blacksmith. I'm trying to think of some of the other fun ones that are coming back. We do have a lot of our old, like our people that have been with us several years that are coming back, craft wise, yeah. cloth wise, which is neat. Mm -hmm. okay, I would say probably about twenty percent of those vendors are are returning. Well, that's good. I'm not saying old vendors because don't I'm say one them all because you're one of them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <I'm just saying laughs> returning. Returning sounds so much appropriate. So. <laughs> and then on the very end, on the corner, um, it's like craft love that artist shop. On the corner. Oh, our music and life. Yes, she's doing music too. She's going to have she? music coming oh, out of the good. shop, some artists there. So I think mm -hmm. that's going to be a nice addition to that corner. Yeah, she's got such a good voice. Oh. Her and Paul Hogan Miller. Oh, that's together. cool. Yeah. And then also um, a shout out to like Pat's Pastries, B Nick, and Common Grounds. They're going to open up early at 6 a.m. Oh, um, nice. To help with our vendors because our vendors need breakfast. And if you guys, if the local people want to get breakfast early before they come down. Um, so I think that's a neat thing that they're going to add to it this right. year. Is that a honeybee shop? Yes, it's yeah. their birthday because they opened, they were crazy enough to open on Jura yeah. So they're going to have a birthday bash. They're going to have a scavenger hunt. Um, that's going to be a lot of fun. Right. So. Yeah, yeah. And their ice cream I had one yesterday. Oh my gosh, it is so good. Is it? To I haven't had it yet. There was quite a few people downtown for that. Yes. Yes. I ate the blackberry. Mm-hmm. It was yummy. I ate the ice cream. I took my ice cream and then I went to Pat's and got me a sandwich. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so I supported the night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Did we have the funnel cake? Oh yeah, there's someone with funnel cake, there's uh, kettle corn, there's that go nuts lady. Literally that's what like her van says, so I can call her that. But she, uh, it's like caramel nuts or something. Or she has roasted nuts. Roasted nuts, yes. Oh, they're so good. Yes. We always call her the nut lady, but yeah. that's, you know, she's used to that. Yeah. So, and then, and like uh, corn dogs, uh, what's Elvis have? He has a little bit of everything. Lemon shake-ups. Um, you know, the beer gardens will be full there. And then Macaroon Lady. Style. Macaroon Lady, this little, little girl, she's, I don't know how old she is, but she's not that it's, old. She was she, here before, wasn't yeah, she? Yeah, and she that makes that macaroons, yes. yeah. 2019 was her first, first year. First year, and so. she did really good. As a matter of fact, I think she sold out. And JC's is having their barbecue again. I'm trying to think. Oh, some of the others. The there. Elks is, what are the Elks at? I just don't know here. I don't know. It might be just beer garden back there. Is the Knights just having their chicken dinner Sunday? Yes. That's, yes. Yes. I think they start serving at 11 on Sunday. Is that what it is? I think 11? it's from 11 to 2. two. Yeah. I, I know the car crew starts at 10. So. They usually pretty much sell out. They do a good job. Mm -hmm. They do. Yeah. So on... Is Main Street and Merchant Street the main streets? Or well, it'll be you down market, market also. You go down market, come across Main, go up Merchant, and then you go down a little farther on Main mm -hmm. to, uh, uh, is that Washington? Yeah. 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 Where Art, Music, and Love and Yes. Yeah. And so those are the ones that are going to be blocked off. There's another lady around the corner. I should know her name, but I can't remember it. Well, we go as far as right before you get to Washington, that street there. I can't remember what it is. 
but because uh, the, the all the little store shops are down to Je between Jeff right there between by Jeff Jefferson and, and Washington, and we yeah. encourage them to bring out stuff, bring out stuff, show it what really you hard have for a, a several years ago. It was really hard to set somebody like a craft booth in because you had so many doors, you had so many driveways and gate openings and so we decided to put the invitation out to the stores the shops if you know if you want to put something out to kind of make it look like you're part of the the show you're more than welcome to do it and they and that's of, fair to them because yeah. uh, a lot of times the people don't go in the shops or they wouldn't go down that far, far right yeah. because there was nothing out in the street Three. this way mm -hmm. if they put stuff out it's it tends to drop no we have their tents out there and, and we have water there. tower winery coming back with their famous sangria oh. and then uh bricks is going to be coming out and they have their the mead wine yeah yes and their slushies they're coming out too so that's a new business that'll be participating this year and they got some vendors out in front of them that they're and bringing it's out of uh, qrst the yes. shop. I don't know what all he's bringing out, but I know he is participating. That's a neat little shop. It is a little neat. I didn't know they had tea parties there. That's pretty cool. Yes, they do. Birthday parties, yeah. showers, whatever you want to have. They can they can handle you. Yeah. So and it's a nice nice little space. What time does this all kick off? On Saturday it kicks off at ten o'clock. With the that's opening when, the break, that's like when the opening ceremony goes. Now we won't have the clogger dancers either because they didn't. They haven't had enough practice and everything they, to do it this year, so they opted out. But, but Patty, Patty's going to be there with her her little singers. I thought. thought You're throwing a curveball at me. I'm not I for thought sure. That's what Jamie <laughs> told me. Maybe I was wrong, but. And then, oh, so they're not going to have the speakers there at the... They're going to have a few speakers. Center. I just think they're going to keep it kind of short and sweet. I know the militia is going to do something. The German band's going to do something. Okay. But... but uh, That's at the Welcome Center when yes. they first come in. And we're open till 6. The craft show's open till 6. And then Sunday, 9 to 4. And the fact that we're a state park... Yep. Hopefully, yep. we'll draw more people down. I hope so. so. There's a lot more Airbnbs popping up. And oh my gosh, have. yes. Oh, yes. there's a lot. Yeah, which is good for our town. It good. is, and a lot of people use them. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that couple that was on the show the last time, they just they bought that. Let's see, she has the beauty shop there in the corner on Market Street. Really. Oh, they oh, bought that house hair. next to them. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah, and I have friends that stayed there, and they said it's really nice. Oh, cool. Is it ready to be yeah. stayed in? Yeah, they've already, they're already renting it out. Oh, they got the yard looking so nice. Cool. Yeah, they have bicycles for the whoever stays there to ride. Oh, that's mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. That's um, cool. It's really nice. I just go down the backyard and go out. <laughs> <laughs> go right in. Well, there you go. Yeah. So I think, I think that's we covered it. everything. And then we had the band con. Are we having the concerts at the church like we did before? I don't know. We're not in charge of that, so I don't oh. know. <laughs> I, I was that at your fed or was that just that, at Christmas? I think that was at Christmas. I don't oh, know. Oh, maybe it was. Because they use the de like Valley Kids park cars in the desert. Yeah, they do. That's, that's mm -hmm. right. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I've got my days. Got screwed up there. It's all good. Yeah, two events You're just, mixed up. You know, it's okay. like 18, 18 or 17 more weeks until Christmas, so you can do some Christmas shopping at Jerta Fed. That's right. Yeah. See, there you go. Lots of nice mm -hmm. gifts. Yes. And if you can't find nothing now, you just come back. Because each, each month they have something going on, uh, an event or something. The, and that's town. so nice yes, that they're is. doing that. They're doing a good job of yep. keeping the promoting tourism. stuff and keeping... Oh, yeah. Keeping nice events. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. And anybody that has any free time, they want to volunteer, they can come down Friday evening, they can come down th or, uh, Saturday morning. I will gladly put anybody to work. <laughs> <laughs> and not even that. Like, uh, if anyone's interested, they can start coming to our meetings. Mm -hmm. um, the second or first Monday, first Monday of the month. Um, but just to get to know what we do, if you have questions, that's a good time to come.
to our meetings. Um, start volunteering. We can always use volunteers. Yeah. Um, and it even takes a if lot. the high school kids need service hours, we gladly will write up a letter for them if they need anything. For service hours? Mm -hmm. For their yeah. service yes. hours. I did that for several years down at the church in St. Mary's when we had chicken and dumpling dinner. I had two oh, girls that came yeah. every one every time and I wrote up letters for them so they could get service hours. And that's good. Kids are they're very good about volunteering mm -hmm. if they're aware of what they need to volunteer for. Yeah. yeah. So now that football practice has started, hasn't it? Yes. I mean, I think this was a dead week. I was last last week was a dead week. Yeah, right. So you probably could contact the coaches and have them announce it to the football players that you need help. And um, we have the Boy Scouts. They help out quite a bit. Right, they do. They help with the trash can, and then we also have um, a shout out to the um, volunteer fire department. Uh, What's the one? Kinsey's. Kinsey does our trash. They, so they volunteer for that, which is awesome that they do our trash. And like I said, the Boy Scouts help out tremendously. Well, Kenzie's um, kind of a dual thing is that they do the trash, but there's also several EMTs in EMTs, that group. Oh, that if, and they're down by Moses Austin that if there's a problem, right. they're, they're right there to kind of get. And that's nice control. that you have all that ground down there yeah. now. Oh, yeah. It's looking pretty sharp. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It really is. Cleaned up. Looks really good. Sounds like there's going to be a lot. Oh, yeah. We try. <laughs> try to add something new every year, but like I said, we need new new faces with new ideas. Mm -hmm. so. And we welcome it, definitely. And the, since it's been going on for so long, it's well known all over, and mm -hmm. people are probably looking forward to the ones that always came from out of town are probably mm -hmm. looking forward to coming back. Oh, I know? think so. I think families get together because of it. I think fr old friends from out of town come in town. Right. I think it's a good meeting spot. It is. Yeah. Seems like they have a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. I think they do. And now with the, uh, what is it the, do they call that the Valley House? That's the state, I mean, that the federal government's got now. They've got that and the Welcome Center. Oh. Yeah, I do know that. It's a valley house. Valley yes. house, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they've got a lot of art in there right now, the mm -hmm. Women's Club art oh. and the history art. So people really need to go in there and Hopefully it's open and see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And of course, there's, we have the Art Guild, and there's a lot of art shops around town. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah. I know yeah. Fourth Friday artwork is always so neat. Yes, it is. It is. And they have, um, I think Juanita probably every year she's out in front of Judy's doing her pastels. So that's a good addition too. Uh, that's about everything that we covered. We could try to think, but I think that's about it. Yeah, we talked about different vendors. So yeah. That's it in a nutshell, huh? Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so you just got to come out and try, see it. So, um, what got you involved, Carrie? I mean, what made you? <laughs> your mother. <laughs> I know your mom. My did it, mom surely, did it yeah. for years, and yeah. it actually started out when I was in high school. I needed service hours, and so she told me, "Well, this is the way you get to do your service hours." And then it was fun to do it with her. Like it was a mom and daughter thing, so it was fun to do it together, and it just kind of stuck from there on out. Oh, that's neat. And then yes. you just kept it going, huh? Yes. Does your mom still help you? She does. Yeah. She's slowly getting it out because she's starting to babysit my kids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so she's slowly getting out of it, but yeah. Well, she did services. Brenda did for years and years. How many mm -hmm. years are you on? I don't know. <laughs> you just not going to count them up, are you, Brenda? Yeah, well, this is actually my last year as right. far as the chairman. I mean, and I will still help volunteer and come down and help but I just don't all paperwork be in, charge. And so, yeah. be in charge of that so. yeah it's always nice for new blood to come in yeah. yeah and they might have great ideas new ideas and we right. need to see that too we're open to it yeah <laughs> I mean anybody that wants to come they you know they're like I said, come to, to come. the meetings come find see what we're all about and help out yep that would be nice Get yep. a bunch of those young ones there. Oh, yeah. Even school teachers 
could do it because they're off in the summer. Some of them have well, jobs. Well, it's kind of, so. it's hard because they're getting their classroom ready. Yeah, they're see, having open houses. They're during this. Yeah, yeah, during yeah. the Jordan Fest. Yeah. yeah. That's kind because of hard. Because they to do. start school at the 18th and St. Yeah. Jen, I think it's the 23rd. Yeah. yeah. And so, you know, it used to be like we'd have Jordan Fed on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, the kids were at school. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so it's kind yeah. of hard. I mean, you but got, you did have a lot of teachers volunteer. I remember yes. some of them that did. Yeah. Them. And then, yeah. you know, with the the kids sports going on it's kind of and I think it's harder to I think everyone is trying every organization a non-for-profit I feel like is struggling to try to find volunteers right. and they're all trying to make money to help keep their organization going so I think that's a constant struggle too you don't want to spread yourself too thin right and you want to help an organization but you can't help them all I think right. but yeah. it's hard to find help there right now Mm -hmm. With all this stuff going yeah. on, yeah. I just think in general it's hard yeah, to find it's help been to get. Like that for a, yeah, quite I think a few just years, to get people yeah. to work and volunteer is and harder. And I think a lot of it's because the, you have to have two people employed to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, definitely times have changed there too. Yes, it's changed a lot since. And even I feel like the crafts have changed too. Like yeah. some people do more digital, or some people do. Not as much handmade, you know. Some is handmade, some is not. I was going but to ask you Etsy, that. like I feel like Etsy, that website, Amazon. I feel like all that's changed the name of the game. Pinterest. Right. I feel like that's all changed the name of the game. Mm -hmm. So it's not all handmade anymore. Um, we don't. I can't say we're just solely crafts, arts and crafts. <coughs> we me. have our our Tupperware dealer. We have the paparazzi. We have the pampered chef. But we limit those. It's one and we only show. have one in a show. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, I don't want to open it up and have six Tupperware dealers. Right. And, no. And stuff. So we, I mean, we came to put that in our, our you know, you got to call. If you're, if you're a re dealer like that, then you need and to they, call you know and let us know. Yeah. You know, our, but they're pretty good about calling and say, do you have this dealer this already. kind of dealer in it is. yeah we do so then they they can't be in the show right so same with food vendors i feel like they call and be like hey do you already have this guy i don't know how many people want to do kettle corn and nuts <laughs> <laughs> i was shocked i didn't know that was our oh, yeah. i didn't know that was such poor a hobby really? those things are yeah. so good but they're yes. not good for you at all <laughs> correct yeah. yeah but yeah we got to wait and listen to those guys I guess anything you can deep fry, like deep fried Oreos, Twinkies, you know. Yeah, yeah well, we anything have one you can of those. Fry. We do. Yeah. Anything you can fry on a stick. <laughs> I'm telling you. Blooming onions and. Oh my gosh. I don't know if we have blooming onions now. Isn't that what that uh, gentleman does across from the Lions Club? I don't know if she does or not. Oh, well, I remember those onions look like flowers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She might do those now. I don't yeah. know. I'll she tell you, she can fry anything in that deep fryer. Yep, she can fry anything in deep fryer. <laughs> yeah, not the healthiest for you, but... But no, I'm glad. I feel like a lot of... I feel like quite a few of the local shops, too, this year have said, hey, how can we help you? You know what I mean? How can we help you? We know they're busy for the event, but I know a few shop owners have helped stuff envelopes or, you know, hey, can we put this out? So that, that always helps, too. We can work together as a good community. No, I can volunteer with stuff envelopes. Okay, that's good to, know. Sit. good to know. Good to know. It's standing up that gets me. Yeah. Yeah. I'll remember yeah. that next year when we're stuffing envelopes. Okay, do that. Oh, yeah. I would be glad to help. Okay. That's a job. We got two new recruits too. for stuffing envelopes. Oh, there, there you go. go. We, we volunteer down at the shrine, down oh. in Perigo, the church, and uh, Miracles Mountain. Mm -hmm. That's what we do down there stuff envelope, count stuff. And Nothing wrong with that. Nope. It's oh. a good service, and it's you can talk while you're doing it. Right. Easy to do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anybody that's got a couple hours and want to come down and help, we'll gladly take them on. Yeah. Where are you but located? This, maybe? <laughs> but this weekend we need people like helping show spots or help carry things. Mm -hmm. Not as much stuffing envelopes this weekend. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The Boy Scouts are really good because on Saturday morning they are helping people unload their their vehicles. They're even helping some people put their tents up. Mm -hmm. and you know just whatever they need 
And that's good. That's and great that those boys do uh, that. I'm trying to find the name of the company. There, I forgot to say, there is a awesome company. It's called Arch Packing. Um, they're out at O Road and 61, and they're donating quite a few gallons of hand sanitizer that we are able to pass out to um, the vendors and our food vendors to help keep people safe this year. So I well, just want to give them great. a shout out because that's amazing that they're donating. Is that in those off. buildings right there mm -hmm. as you turn? Mm -hmm. At O Road, yeah. So I, I yeah. really want to say thank you to them. It is, it's I, wonderful how cooperative our citizens are. And oh, our yeah. Business yes. people. I think they yeah. want to support it. We don't, we don't want our town, nothing to close up. We want to keep everybody open. Right. So. Yeah, there's more downtown now than it used to be. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I haven't got down and gone through everything yet. <laughs> Main Maybe. Street's really popping. Oh, we did like a lot that. of that. Oh, on. Gosh, yeah. Moonlight Madness. Moonlight Madness was an awesome time to do, too. And we got to go into a lot of those shops. There were a lot of people out. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's good for our town. It is. Yeah. yeah. Helps the businesses make ends meet. Oh, yes. And the whole bit, yeah. So what will you two ladies be? What's your favorite part of Jertafet? Um, I just like walking around looking at the booth. People and watching. You can say the truth. People I watching. People watching. Okay, yes, let's say tell the truth. That's my favorite <laughs> things to do. <laughs> that's my favorite too. I guess I mean, I, I guess my favorite is part of being nosy. I can see what everybody's got. <laughs> I'm going to check yeah. every vendor out. No, nothing wrong with <laughs> there that. There might be something there I might see that I want, and I usually do go home with too much. <laughs> There but used to be a lady that made little bitty jointed bears and rabbits. Mm -hmm. She was down on Main Street. You remember her? I remember. She quit doing it several years ago because she told me that was her last year. Mm -hmm. But she put the little buttons on the arms and on the legs. And mm, that's cool. I bought several of her bunnies and her. They're just so cute, the little bears and the bunnies. Well, if you like some Thank good you. music, we got a good lineup down by the Moses Austin building. Uh, that Josh Driscoll, he sounds like Johnny Cash. So you should oh, stop really? by. Yeah, he's 10 to 2 on Saturday. You should come by and see him. He's Where's he good. from? He's actually from Farmington. Oh, really? Yeah. But he plays over here locally. Oh, okay. Um, quite a bit. So. Where's he going to be at? The Moses Austin house, like on our property. Um, bring a lawn chair. Come and sit and relax in the grassy area. Yeah. You can and pull up right next to Brenda. Brenda's booth. Yeah. yeah, Brenda has a booth right there. You can pull up right next to her. So right. that is on Saturday? Or yes, on yeah. Saturday? that's on Saturday. And then yeah. after him is Wayne Gibbons. Um, he plays from 2 to 6. And then uh, yeah, on Sunday it's Vernon. Vernon. Yeah. Vernon Fleek. So he's local. Yeah. So, he's so on what time does uh, Driscoll start? 10. 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's going to be both days? Yes, music both days, but not mm -hmm. jo Josh is just on Saturday. So. And it's yeah. him and his mom and dad, so it's pretty cool. Oh, how yeah, neat. it's a family. Yeah. yeah, they used to play at the Plumbers. Oh, theater. okay. I thought yeah. that's Melody's husband. Yes, okay. it's a small world. I'm telling you. <laughs> it is. Yeah. yeah. I recognize that name, and then I was going to ask you yes. if his wife was Melody, but yeah. yeah. Well, that's great. Yeah, because Randy stayed in Branson. Correct. And they moved back to Farmington. I mean, to wherever uh, over not Blick. And then the mom and dad did Farmington. And then yes. I think isn't he and his mom, his mother-in-law's house? I'm I don't not know. for sure. I'm not for sure. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, yes. I recognize the name. So. Yeah. So did, does his wife sing with him then? No. 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 She's it's just him and his mom and dad. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. That yeah. Is, that's me. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, and the weather's supposed to be nice, so keep 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 praying and keep hoping. Yeah. Wishing good vibes for uh, nice weather. Weather, yeah. Yes, we it's could use some 80s. Be. It's supposed to be a good weekend, a little yeah. cooler. Yes. <laughs> cooler be than the 90s and the 100s that we've yeah, been having. The humidity is supposed to be out of the weather. Pardon? The humidity is supposed to be out, out of it, too. Is yeah. it? Yeah. Supposed to be yeah, I haven't listened to the weather for a while. That's what's killing you now. I could walk outside today and it's like, I can't breathe out here. Right, <laughs> yes. I stopped watering my plants. The heat's got them. I'm done. <laughs> Mine are done. 
They just shriveled up. Yeah. Yes. Mine in the Forgetting. morning when the sun hits them are, but then, like right now, they're all perked up again. <laughs> so I guess they will to, to preserve their energy. Which makes sense. Yeah. I got flower boxes, but they'll have flowers in them. <laughs> I understand that too. They just didn't do anything. Didn't even have as many molds this year. That's not a bad thing. No. Good, good grief, no. <laughs> but there's no moisture out there at all. Oh my gosh. This. My trees are even shedding. They're shedding limbs, though. <laughs> well, that's because they're pecan trees. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they gosh. They drop all the time. Got yes. up in the, the other morning, and there was another big limb out in the front yard. Oh my I get tired of holding them away. Right. So Sam also has um, a van that they you can book. Did you know that? I did not know mm -hmm. that. Yeah. They were telling us that the other night. So if anybody wants to take a trip somewhere, you need to get in contact oh. with him and get you a bunch together and they can Rent take you. Mm -hmm. They can take you on a trip. I didn't know that. I don't know if they can go out of state. I didn't ask him that. I was going to say, that would have been an interesting question. Yeah, I didn't even think about asking him that, but we were talking about going up to the Ferris wheel and the aquarium then. Well, we'll go. I will take you. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it's, is it $20 for the winery trips and that? Oh, I don't know, because we just do a flat rate with them, and it's right. Like a, one or two dollars is it mm -hmm. one or two dollars something like that it's like one or two dollars and you can ride the trolley back and forth from eric scott so i'm right. not sure what he does yeah. for the, tr mm -hmm. uh, the wineries or anything but yeah but that would be neat yeah better than well i can't say better than the buses they've been really buses good. are air conditioned but i'm pretty sure yeah. there's pretty nice air conditioning going on that trolley yeah yeah the air is moving anyway yeah, exactly mm -hmm. you're not sitting there so right we rode on one time and all the windows were down it was like <laughs> Close the windows. Right? It's blowing me away. <laughs> Had new hairdos and everything else. There you go. I'm anxious to hear the Barber the Barber's Quartet again. Now where are they gonna yeah. be playing at? Magnolias. Magnolias. Do you know where that's at? It's down It's new. It's new, it's down oh. on the Across from the park down by Jefferson, or it used to be the old uh, car wash. I grew up knowing it as the car wash. Right. It's you know, Terry's building. Oh, Terry Cavins building. Yeah. She uh, turned that into a store downstairs and Airbnb on top. Right. Yeah. So they're going to have a quartet singing out there. Yeah, I was amazed at how good they were when they posted it on Facebook. Yeah. They're very good. Yeah. 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 I told Scott he had to join them, but he wouldn't. <laughs> so, you know. Now, across from the hotel that, where that gazebo is, is there going to be a music in there too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think between Autobahns and the Show Me Shop, they always have stuff going on there. They'll have drinks, they'll have music. Um, they always have all kinds of different stuff underneath that tent. I don't know what all different ones they'll have. But like all the local restaurants will have deals and specials. Right. And so. It'll be busy. It will be busy, yes. Yep. We need to bring business in. Good. Yes. I hope I can go cool down. You can do it. Well, don't go if it's hot. <laughs> well, i got to get my walking legs back. <laughs> Forget them back and then I could go. Find or I can get me a little trolley. I was just going to say, get a I'll scooter. Get you, yeah, get a scooter. Get me a little walk. scooter. A walker that you can walk behind. It makes it easier to walk. There you go. Yeah, yeah I'll have to find one of them. <laughs> That'd be neat. Yeah. Because I, I always go I down for my... I saw a sign the other day on the, the... Is it the Lutheran Church across from... They're having something. What are they having? It's some kind of antique sale. It's kind of, but they're also. Don't they su do some kind of food too? They do a cool, they're going to have a cooling station. Cool, yes, they do that every yeah. year. Yeah. yeah. I seen that sign the other day and I thought, well, that's kind of yeah. nice that they're having the cooling station. And they, yeah. and they sell in their basement. They yeah. used to sell all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. I guess what antiques that people don't I want. think that's what it was. It's yeah. an antique sale. They have a lot of quilts. Station. 
Mm -hmm. Homemade quilts and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they used yeah. to. I don't know if they're advertising quilts this year or not. Are I they? didn't see quilts on yeah. the list. But they used to do quilt and the. The only thing caught my eye was that they was doing a cooling station. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. And I think that's pretty normal that mm -hmm. they have that. Yeah. And I don't know, does the Presbyterian Church, do they do something too? It seems sometimes like they, they do, had sometimes some, they don't. Yeah, it seems like they had something there one year. Yeah. Maybe they'll give tours or their new building they fixed up. That would be That's nice. nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You go in there and look at that. Yeah. Hey, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, we yeah. need to see your building. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, because it's got quite a history to it with the silversmith being there and that. Oh, that, yeah, the um, the pewter shop. They're going to have an artist, and they're going to unveil a new ornament over Jordan Fett. That's I think that's pretty neat. Yes, I called them about it. Yeah. They said they'll probably have enough. I think, don't they have them now? You, yes. You can buy them now. Yeah. Because yeah. I, when I saw it, I called them. I think it's a pretty neat one. If it was limited or if they were going to. Yeah. So that's pretty neat. They'll have the new artist there and doing stuff, so. Yeah. I stay away from when they have the artists there because I always wind up buying it. I always like watching what they make. It's pretty neat. Me too, but I always wind up buying it and I got enough stuff to get, to get rid of without adding more. <laughs> 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 at, a, at a certain you age, you need to quit buying and start start so putting your kids' names on things. You know, like, this one gets this, this one gets this. Do what? I said start putting names on different items. Yes, everything in the house. They don't want it now. The kids don't want this stuff no more. Well, I've been giving some money away. <laughs> I tell you, tell them, you were starting a house? Okay, here. <laughs> there you go. You need to do it now. <laughs> so I'm getting rid of some things. Downsizing. Yeah. I understand Which that. Which is good. <laughs> so they buy a house and I just help them out. There you go. Nothing wrong with that. Clean house. Okay, I think I've asked all the questions. Oh, and the difference is they're not having a car show. Car show means you stay there all day and right. they get prizes and stuff. They're doing a car cruise, so it's come and go, no prizes. Yep. The Casey Hall. That's, that's the oh, gear. Be, uh, yeah. The gears. And how is the tractors going to get back behind Hoffman? Are they going to have their parade? On St. Mary's Road? Yeah, oh, that's a good Paul Arnold question. Yeah, well, I really should have asked Paul Arnold about if they're doing a parade or how they're getting there. If, I don't know. if they're coming in St. Mary's Road, they need to come in before the crowd. Yeah, because there'll be a split there. Yeah. <laughs> right. I we I usually we have can't. a parade, though, don't we? No. We used to have a parade. We used to. Used so to. On yeah, door. years ago. Because I remember We used to have that. a pet parade, too. I don't remember At that. At one time. Yep. That's before my time. Yeah. You're a young and that's why. <laughs> <laughs> I think so I you, you asked me how many years I've been with Jerry. There's quite a few there. <laughs> there are quite a few. <laughs> well, we're all, we've only missed two in the flood of 93 and 2020 because of COVID. Yeah. So there's only been two. Yeah, hopefully that's all. I hope yeah. that's it. Hope so. Yeah, because yeah. I heard the other day that Jordan Fett was canceled, and I said, I don't think so. Carrie's coming on. Nope. And Brenda I'll tell you right now, it's a rumor. Show, so that was a big, bad rumor. <laughs> yep. They, I've heard it's getting canceled, and I've heard it's our last one, and that's not our plans. That's not our intentions at all. Maybe they're getting confused with me. Uh, it's um, my last one. <laughs> your last year as a chairman. That's maybe maybe, that's maybe where they the confusion. just were halfway listening. Yeah, yeah that's where the confusion yeah. came from. That's where the confusion was. <laughs> It sounds yeah, like the way it goes. It's, yeah. it's going to be a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, we try. We do try. We try to do something for a little bit of every age. And, and, if, and each year, if you try to just add something new, Change like that. this year, we got the tractor club coming in. And this year, we got the library for the kids because yes. they. Yeah. Sean be Long great. is doing amazing yes. things with that library. I don't know if you've he went has, in there. Have you, has have you had him on your show? I would have him on my show. He was he on. Um, I think right when he took the job, maybe, or shortly yeah. thereafter. He's doing some yes, amazing things, on. and yeah. so well, I'm excited to, to, add him, yeah. Yeah. to add him to the program. So yeah. it'll be a new addition, will be good. Yeah, he's a go-getter. Oh, yes, he is, definitely. 
the other thing we had, to, oh, the other thing we had to cancel was the P&G trailer. Oh yeah, we were gonna have the Procter and Gamble trailer, which is a nicer um, place where they change the babies. Oh, and awesome. um, they give out free diapers. We had to cancel that this year. Their corporate made them back out. They're not oh. doing any more public events because the COVID number's too high to them. Right. So. Oh, but yeah. they've already asked to come back, back next year. They want to come back next year, so that'll be a good addition next year. So. Good. Yeah. Good. So do you do anything in the house there? Or no. Not anymore? No. The squirrels. Pardon? It's a party squirrels. house for the squirrels. It's a party I know. House for they squirrels. are crazy we squirrels. We were in there for the kids playing air one year, and it was so funny. They had nuts, like they were having a meeting <laughs> all the way around, and then a pile up here like the boss man was sitting there. It was so funny. I'm telling you, they're, they're crazy. They're nuts. They're legit. No matter where they get in that house. No, Picks up the, the hole and then back they are. Exactly. <laughs> Find a way. That's they why sometimes through the walls if they need to. Yeah, sometimes we just leave a door open. We should just leave it open. Say, hey, go have your party. Leave us alone. <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious when we went in there and there they were, just nuts, like a group. Everybody <laughs> had their own little pie. Everybody, yeah, like they were sitting around the, on the desk, <laughs> sitting around, <laughs> and then the pa was there. Wasn't that a dish you had in that yeah. room? Yes. Yeah, that's where it was. I'm surprised they haven't chewed on that. Uh, yeah, the desk <laughs> has actually been around for quite a few years. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so sort of shocked about that, too. Hell, they chew on the ban banisters and everything else. Yeah. They chew on everything they're around. Right. They destruct, they're destructive little creatures. <laughs> yeah, they are. They are yeah. the most dangerous. But, yeah. I think Is there anything else? else? No. no. I'm no. trying to think. We covered all of that. Yeah, we said about Make, the 5K and the one mile fun run. So. Yeah, I do a rundown of everything and then uh, just so the people know, if you don't mind. You're yeah. fine. Yeah, you can start with the. Start with the times, Brenda. Okay, Saturday times are from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Sunday is 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Then we have the opening ceremony will be at 10 o'clock on Saturday. And then on Saturday we have the 5K run and the one mile fun run and that starts up at the park and they run, they have a course all marked off. Um, you can still sign up for that or you can sign up the day of. So then at the 10 a.m. at the welcome opening ceremonies, the militia will do a demonstration, the German band. Um, Father will be coming to say a prayer. And uh, Rosie will be singing the national anthem. Mm -hmm. Rosie's going to sing it? Yes. She sings so She's a standing order. Yeah. You know, we done told her every Judy Fetch you have to sing the national anthem. Oh, I love anthem. to listen to her. Yes. She does a great job. She does, yes. And the whole, um, both days, the trolley will be running back and forth from our extra parking at Eric Scott. Drop off will be by the Gabbery. Um, bridge and at the U.S. Bank. Those will be the two drop-off points. Right. Um, all kinds of food, beer gardens, live music. We'll have music at the Moses Austin House, Josh Driscoll from 10 to 2, Wayne Givens from 2 to 6 on Saturday. On Sunday we'll have um, Vernon Fleeg. He'll be there most of the day. And then we have the crafters. We have a, right now 105 crafters. So along with the food vendors, we're going to have a pretty good show. 19 food vendors, including local and coming out of town. Lots of shops bringing stuff out. We have the Lost Acres Tractor Club. Mm -hmm. um, both days are going to be out. Um, the Dino, uh, uh, I call it the Dino Museum. It's actually the St. Jen Music uh, Museum Learning Center is open 10 to 4. So that'll be good. Then we'll have um, historical home tours. We also have the car cruise and the chicken dinner on um, Sunday at the Knights of Columbus Hall. And also don't forget about the duck race. That's one of my favorite things is the duck races. I like watching those ducks and then I like the guys trying to pick them up afterwards. And then, you know, one always gets away. Yeah. I'm telling you, that's my, that's, I find that funny. Yeah. So, and I like all the demonstrations, like the crafts, like yes. the chainsaw guy, the blacksmith, Crow's Candles, he's got some cool This would be the cream, first year for the blacksmith, cookie. this particular blacksmith. They were supposed to be here in 2009, 
2019. Our life, no, 2020. 20. And then there, you know, we had to cancel, so they they said, "Can you know, we'll put, we'll come back in 2021." So that's what they yeah. did. Yeah. And of course, Shank Jen Library will have some stuff there for the kiddos. So, so there's a nice full weekend. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the art guild has their museum and art center open, which yeah. is a really nice building. It's all remodeled, and if you haven't been there, come, because mm -hmm. it, it's amazing what has been done to that. Yeah. So there'll be signs out for yeah. Art Guild. Yes. Oh, is there a charge for going into the Art Guild? No, there, there is, is no, no charge. charge. Okay. No charge. And I know some of the shops are tailoring their hours for their open a little longer. Like I said, Common Grounds, Paint, Pads Pastries and Beanie Cafe are opening at 6 a.m. I know like Sweet Things and the Bee Shop are staying open a little bit later and um, Bee Shop's having their birthday party and having a scavenger hunt. So there's all kinds of fun stuff. There is, yeah. Yes. There's something for everybody. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. We try. Yeah. yeah. Now and it's if, the weather. And if you're too hot, Sarah's ice cream and mm -hmm. the Honey Bee, what, what do they call that? Is it? Harold's. Yes, Harold's Bee. When you said they going to have that. Had delicious ice cream both places. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And then our craft vendor, the tractor gentleman, um, I don't know. I call Brian. him Brian's the tractor guy. He'll have the homemade ice cream with the tractor. And that's very good, too. Yes. So that'll all keep you. So come hungry, come thirsty, and ready to and sit with your pocketbook. Yes, please support. Support local, support our vendors. And then you have the Kumi stations where they can go in. Um, we have like the Welcome Center will let you go in and cool off. Um, we have um, hand sanitizer, like wash stations, stuff like that. But we really don't have like major cooling stations. Okay. Um, I don't know. Uh, Will's also house used to be it, but it's not set up. No, more. but the they set up at the the hotel's parking lot. The police. That's not like you can go in and cool oh, off. Oh. You can breastfeed in there. I do know that, but that's bad. I didn't know. I haven't never been in that, so. But they can always come down, sit under the shade with me. Right, sit down there, listen to music, <laughs> cool off. You'd be surprised how many people bring their lawn chairs in that, just that little corner. And listen to the music. Sit there and there and then listen to the music. Do you have a fan? Oh, yeah. On you? Yeah. yeah. I have a fan. I've even offered water to some of the older people mm -hmm. that sit there. And they said, can we sit here and we'll listen to music? I go, right ahead. Come on down. So I said, I just don't provide lawn chairs for everyone. You have to <laughs> provide <laughs> lawn chairs. <laughs> so. Set them up theater style. Yeah. Right. Also I suggest at one time we bring down straw bales and just set them around. And yeah. You'd be surprised how many people would just sit and listen. Sit and listen. And with it being so dry, yeah. you could even bring the regular folding chairs mm -hmm. and oh, yeah. sit on those because you won't sink in the ground yeah. as dry as it is. Yeah. So. so anyway, we thank you girls for coming on. No problem. Thanks for having us. Updating and hopefully we'll this will attract more people that thought it was shut down. And it's right. Not. Stop those rumors. We're right. we're open for business. And anybody that's got a few hours wanna help. Yes. Please Always volunteer. Right. Yes. Okay. You just you don't have to call. Just show up. And where should they show up to? At the welcome center. At the welcome center. At the yeah, welcome room. center. Okay. At, uh, they need to be there about a quarter after one to one thirty. Then I can kind of show them the ropes. Show them what I need them to do. One to one thirty. Yeah. One to one thirty at the welcome center. All you volunteers out there. Yeah. There you one go. to one thirty at the welcome center. Because our check in is from two to eight. And uh, really what happens is they go in there check if you're if you're a returning vendor, uh, they pretty know where they're at because they always mm -hmm. get the same spot. But then now the this is on ones, Saturday or Friday? Friday, 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 Friday. and then early and Saturday morning. Spots. Friday, but yeah. the majority of them do come in on Friday night. And set up. They do. Yes, and that's nice because they support the town. Yeah. Oh yes, they eat and a so lot of local places. They spend do. the night. You know, that's great revenue coming in. But we need kind of need people that can, if the newer ones come in and they don't know where this street is or what the street is, you know. So it's more for direction, direction, direction. Yes. And all stuff. Yeah where they're 
booth is at and all that. Yeah. And you have them all numbered, of course. Oh, yes. yeah. yeah. That's what Jamie's doing today. Yep, Jamie. Jamie, our president, is uh, marking streets right now. Oh. oh. That's what she's doing right now. We came, we volunteer for this with you lovely ladies, and she went to the, mark the street. So I think we got the better end of the deal. <laughs> she's a good well, At least you got to sit in her school. Yeah. yeah. Right? She's a hard worker. She is. Yeah. She is, definitely. Yeah, so. she is. She's a real asset to the oh, definitely. community. Oh, definitely. Yeah. And then, As was her mother. Oh, yes. Yep. She was a dear defect chairman. She was. She was for years. Years. Yeah. Yeah. I worked with her and her husband, and I worked with Jack Trapp and Mita, and with uh, Bovas, Bovas and the Fligs, and then the torch got passed. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I worked with quite a few. And I worked with Fran too. Oh Fran! I started with Fran. Did you, bro? When so she remember when she ago. when she had that stuff on the across from the Valley School on that oh, little geez. parking lot. Oh, yeah. With the fried food and everything. I just remember hearing stories about that. Oh. Yeah, I don't remember that either. Yeah, what year I did. was that? In? It was one of the very first years because my mother volunteered me. So that would be probably <laughs> like in the very, very early 70s? Yep. Fried food on the corner of Valley. Okay. Well, it's where the flags are now. Oh. She had that right set up right in there. You talk about them. hot. You be around them cookers. Oh my gosh! Not only hot because of the cookers, the stupid sons, right? Not the stupid son. The sun's beating down on you right there too. Oh yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I don't remember that, but I do. Yeah. I do. It's embedded. You would Could remember be. it if you had to go there and sweat all day. <laughs> <laughs> and you got volunteered. <laughs> My mother volunteered me. Maybe we need more moms mom. like your mom to volunteer their kids and just be like, come help. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know what I was getting into. And your mom volunteered you. Right? Care. So <laughs> I know the feeling. Yeah. I just I didn't get a fryer. <laughs> you missed out on that. I know. Duty. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but then they kind of grew, and then they all had the crap. They started a craft show with it. So yeah, yeah. I used to set up at Feather Jerry Fed every year right in front of the post office. Mm -hmm. Had a really nice space. I think Daddy Layton was across the street from me. I set up one year yeah. down by the. We had um, little park. Christmas tree skirts and placemats oh, okay. and all kind of handmade stuff. That's cool. Betty and I both did. Oh, neat. She made one design and I made another, and then we were across the street from each other. And I made bears that I gave away on uh, Facebook one day. I said, anybody want a bear? <laughs> and it was in no time, they were all gone. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I found a, pa a ba uh, trash bag full of Mountain in the Garage. I thought, what Ooh. do I need these for? That was many, many years ago when I made, I think maybe Fran. Uh -huh. was the chairman when I made those. That's how many years, how old they are. Wow. And they were so nice and soft and you just throw them in the washing machine. And so I washed all of them and I said, anybody want a clean bear? They're nice and soft. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. So I hope I made some little kids happy. <laughs> I think you know I did. One little girl I know because her dad sent me a picture and it said, how much she loved the little bear. <laughs> yeah. 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 It was almost as big as she was. Aww. <laughs> I don't know if it was this year or last year we had an email. Someone was asking about, do we have a place where just you have painting, artists painting. that do painting and, you know, the fine arts and stuff like that. And I said, no, we don't. Well, then they didn't want to come because they, they want to be in a section where there's just like artists. artists. A whole bunch of artists. Yeah. But they can come to the art guild. There's, uh, we have 50 something members and mm -hmm. I think 24 or 25 of them have paintings hanging right now. Oh, okay. So there is a big variety of art in that is hanging. Plus all the, that's the big pictures. Yeah. Plus all kind of little stuff in there, little 
mini pictures and well she just kind of thought maybe we had a section for just artists just artists and they used to at the at Citizens, Citizens Electric, Electric the yeah they yeah. used to yeah at Citizens yeah. Electric yeah because I remember the guy that used to spray paint the the t-shirts the yes air, airbrush and they were right. supposed to come back so well, yeah. we do have the cartoon we do have a cartoon artist. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. You two need to go sit on the park bench and he'll draw you. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. He does. Yeah. He does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They go, he's down at Moses Austin. He uh, wanted to be down there. So. Yeah. That's neat. Yeah. Yeah. I a have, lot of people do that. They always have a line when somebody does that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. That and face painting. Yes. They always have a line for face painting and for portraiture. Yeah. Portraiture. Oh yeah. Okay, girls. We'll Alrighty. Let All right. you go back to helping Jamie. Okay. <laughs> if we must, right? You must Thank because right. she can't do it all by herself. No. Nope. We'll just go by and check on her. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how you doing? So right. So Tell, thank you for wave and goodbye to everybody. They got you on camera. Oh, oh whoops. They See you later. took you off. <laughs> Bye, everyone. There they go. Bye. Yeah. There. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for listening to us tonight. And we appreciate you. you come back next year. Thank you. Or if you want to come between now and then, you're very, very welcome to do that also. Okay. Well, okay. thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Right. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a good evening. You too.